Hello, Sebastian Lacito here, and welcome to 5-Minute Fresh Start. I'm in Romans chapter 1, verse 16. It says, For I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it's the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes, for the Jew first and, and also for the, uh, for the Greek. For in it the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. So the Bible says, in, in the Holy Spirit's telling us, I'm not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of of salvation. The word of God is God's power given to us. It's the, it has power inherent in it. And the Bible saying, I'm not ashamed of the word of God. I'm not ashamed of God. I'm not ashamed of his promises. I'm not ashamed of what he's giving me. Uh, I, you know, before humanity, I will live his word. I will preach his word. I will teach his word. Hiding any part of it is hiding God, is hiding the power of God, not praying not teaching parts of the word of God, not wanting to live a Christian life before men is a way of saying, I'm ashamed of God. I, you know, I, 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 I don't, you know, I'm afraid to tell you uh, because I don't want to offend you. I don't want you to look at me differently. It seems antisocial, right? And so that's being ashamed of God. Now, when you look at it, seeker sensitive churches, churches that cater to new people, they hide the Holy Spirit a lot of times in the word of God. They put them in a closet in an attempt not to offend or not to alienate people to try and get them back and build the audience. The, po the problem is it's the power of God that actually uh, brings them salvation. It's the power of God that brings healing. And so when you hide God or you're offended at part of his word or don't want to preach part of his word because you're ashamed of him, you know, uh, um, uh, it, it's, it's by the Holy Spirit that we find salvation. It's by the Holy Spirit that we, uh, that we bring healing, that we renew our minds, that we change our behavior, that we move people. And here, here's, here's the thing, without the Holy Spirit, it's just man's marketing plan. It's just man doing it on his own in his own strength. You know, it says, how can we, you know, how can we put God in a closet and be embarrassed of the power of God? Verse 21, actually, in Romans 1 says, because although they knew God, they did not glorify him as God. Neither were thankful, but became futile in their thoughts and their foolish hearts were darkened. So even though you know there's a God, even though these people know there's a God, they're ashamed of his word. They're ashamed of his power through the Holy Spirit. They're ashamed of the gifts of the Spirit. And so when you look at it, it's basically saying, I have no respect. I have no appreciation. I have no thanks or honor uh, to God as my creator or supreme authority over my creation. Humanity lives daily without without regard to God as creator and authority over his creation. <clears throat> God has a passive place in their minds and in their hearts. We, we know he exists and we know that heaven exists and we know that we're destined for heaven, but are we? You know, are you if you're ashamed of God? Are you, are you if you're ashamed of his word and ashamed of what he said? You know, there's no fear, there's no reverence. Uh, there's no nothing that builds boundaries or tethers you uh, or in your life to obeying God and pleasing God and actually finding salvation and walking with them. You know, Jesus paid a, a very painful, humiliating price for us. And to say that we're ashamed of you and we put you in the closet, right? Paul said in Acts chapter uh, 20 and verse 26, it says, Therefore, I testify to you that I'm innocent of the blood of all men. I've not shunned to declare to you the whole counsel of God. I haven't cut back from anything. I haven't hidden anything. Therefore, take heed to yourself and to the flock among which the Holy Spirit has made you an overseer to shepherd the church of God, which he purchased with his own blood. In other words, be understanding of what's at stake here by not being ashamed of God. It's, it's a time... Uh, basically, the Bible says that we're going to be hated of all nations for his name's sake and that there will be many that will uh, try to arrest us and kill us in the end times. And here's the thing. We can't be ashamed of God under that pressure. We have to stand and stand tall in a, in a headwind. That's our broadcast for today. Please visit our website. We have curriculums. We have teachings. We have uh, plenty of materials. It's all free. It's all paid for by our partners. Please pray about partnering with us. Uh, for 25 bucks a month or something like that just to help us um, uh, get through and and uh, train people and raise people up in the word of god 
And then please pray for us and join us on our journey as we join you on your journey to know God and his word. So God bless you and have a great, great day. Thanks for watching.